And um, I'm so grateful to be able to meet you in person and have this interview with today, uh, this interview with you today, but I have to be, I just wanted to be honest with you and kind of tell you where we were at and yeah. happening. And um, I know that uh, we told you today was your final interview, but we actually wanted to congratulate you on becoming your <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna be crying too. I, <laughs> we, we're so proud of you. We're so proud of who you are as a person, what you've accomplished. You're, we're so happy for you and your new, your new baby that's coming and you and your wife singing together is just one of the most beautiful things I've seen in a long time. And um, we just want to make sure that you and your music and your beautiful spirit gets out there as possible. And we know you're just going to be the best and most amazing representative we could ever hope for. Yeah, <laughs> we're really excited to meet you in person. There's so many things that are going to be coming, but um, mm -hmm. I don't even know what to say. I feel so privileged to be in this position, but to meet somebody like you who has given so much back to the province and gives so much back with your, your lyrics are stunning. Oh, thank just you so much. I, I uh, normally I can talk talk people's ears off. I just I just don't even have the words right now. Lauren, can you please come here? Um, I have my I have my wife uh, uh, here with me. Hello. Um, Hi. What's Ms. your name? Here. Lauren. 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 Um, we just told your wonderful husband that he is our artist in residence. Oh, I know. That's just <laughs> incredible. <laughs> and I just I wanted to know like what inspired you like how did you get to, i mean you've been playing for a, some time and you've been at stampede and obviously you're traveling all over the province to make a go of this you're a typical hard-working musician right so like what inspired you and and how did what what made you decide to do this with your life because obviously you have many gifts and talents i'm sure there's lots of ways your life could have gone um, i think it's a probably a combination of things um so my, my family, uh, like many other Albertans, um, were immigrants from elsewhere. And my uh, grand, both sets of my grandparents moved to Canada for opportunities here. Um, and uh, they started a kind of agricultural lives in central Alberta. Originally, my one grandfather, Grandpa Camps, he started in Saskatchewan and kind of lost everything in the dirty 30s. Uh, relief food came in on the back of a wagon one day and they told him this was all grown in Alberta. And he said, well, we're in Alberta. And he said, well, <laughs> there's a place called Lacombe. He said, we're going to Lacombe. <laughs> so uh, he started his life there. And I learned later on in life, he had an enormous amount of responsibilities. He uh, married my grandmother and then took care of her sisters as well. Their parents were a little bit... Uh, aloof and distanced and so he had this crazy amount of responsibility as a young man um my mother's side of the family also really hard-working people they grew up uh, just north of red deer also in a uh, another agricultural uh setting and my parents have always just pushed us as a as children in our family to work hard um it's been a difficult go for me um being an artist being a little bit different and um I have a condition called ADHD inattentive as well, which I sh shared in one of the meetings is sort of like, I think it's like the evil cousin of ADD that no one knows about. But um, I just have had a long period in my life where I was unaware of that. And I think that's why school was difficult, but that's why the arts became this place of safety for me. Um, I can just focus creatively and experience my own sort of therapy, but also um, try and create works that connect and resonate with people on different levels. And so um, I think I sort of explained that a little bit in my uh, video interview that I submitted, but I, I just kind of feel in some ways like I can't do anything else. I just have to do the arts in, in some capacity, in all capacities that I can um, get myself engaged with. And I feel really passionate about that because I think there's a lot of other people in our province that are very skilled people that struggle with very typical artist-like things, with self-confidence, um, but also a lot of people, I think, that have artistic skills that have just never felt safe to engage with them. Um, and I think particularly being a, uh, an individual with a spouse and dependents, 
that in particular has been a, an interesting journey. Um, some myths I think exist in the arts as a whole uh, where you, um, that I would just like to, I would try and like to break, break those myths and show people that you can have dependence and be a full-time artist or you can be a part-time artist or a hobby artist and your art is just as valuable. Um, Agreed. I think those words are going to be exactly what this province needs right now. I don't think there could have been a better time for you to be in a space where you can impact not only everybody with your beautiful music, but with just who you are as a person and interactive. So tell me a little bit about your project. Um, oh my goodness. I, how do I just quickly paraphrase this? Uh, I could show you a little bit. <laughs> I would love, yeah, I would be amazed. Look. All right, so uh, where do I even start? This may not be the right key. I don't have a capo with me, so I'm just gonna. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll pick up, this will be, I think, first two or something. Okay. Her time, she can get a little moody. Her cold shoulder burns colder than hell, frozen over. Nonetheless, I still find her. One warm Chinook, I'm back under her spell. Strong and free, full of hope, she'll always be. Never stopped her. No, my fire, no flood. All together lovely. The promise of safety. Salvation. Kind of. Oh, I'm my heart. Flat, so. <laughs> That was, that was definitely a little too low for me. I apologize. I've got a pretty high voice. <laughs> no, that's just for Thank you for sharing that with you. I'm so excited for you. Oh, my friend. I can't wait to meet you in person. Virtual hug. Can you oh. bring your family into the picture? I hear the munchkins. Yes. yes, yes. Um, well, could you grab uh, Luna? I'll be right back. I'm just going to grab okay. Leah. I don't. Come here. Hi, Luna. Say hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> what are everybody's names? What's your name? Uh, Luna and Luna. Mommy and Daddy and Leia. And Leia! Oh my goodness! So <laughs> nice to meet you all. We love you all so much. Thank you. We're so, so proud to know you. Thank you for everything you're doing and for the work that's coming. And that song is magnificent already. I can't imagine how it's going to evolve and grow. Well, <laughs> I acted the way that I am. Um, by these beautiful people and this beautiful place that we live in. And thank you for everything, Joel. And thank you. So, such a pleasure. And Lauren and Luna and Lydia. <laughs> thank you oh, so much. So excited.